Hi everybody. What follows is just a few clips that I put together yesterday when I uh, made a trip up to Fredericton to have a visit with the quail breeder that I'm going to get the Bob White quail hatching eggs from next month. I didn't realize it until I got there, but she has many different varieties. Uh, several varieties of quail and uh, one variety of partridge and several varieties of uh, pheasants. Any of the ones that I remembered what she told me they were, I've put a little caption on the video and tell you what the, what the name of the bird is. The other ones that don't have captions are various breeds of pheasants and I can't remember what she called them. And the dialogue that you hear is just our conversation. It isn't meant to be instructional or anything. I muted it somewhat, but I just left it there. It was just, we were chatting away in the background as I uh, made the, the little clips. Anyway, very interesting. She has lots of beautiful birds and her, as you'll see, the bob white quail that she has are, are in beautiful condition. Lovely little healthy looking birds. So. I can hardly wait to get the eggs sometime in April and get them in the incubator. Go on YouTube eventually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so the sons will be, um, they'll start laying this year. And, uh, do they lay as prolifically as, as the quail do? Well, yeah, they're, they're, they lay in hutches, so they're the same almost as the pheasants. They have uh, a spring uh -huh. summer, and then they, get, they don't lay during the year. Unless you put lights on them, they yeah. probably lay a little bit more. Oh, beautiful. I've never seen them before, just oh, in really? pictures. Yeah, these are really nice. We like to... My problem, I'm a vegetarian, more. you see, and I won't be, uh, be eating well, any of these. Well, don't, we don't eat them. We, we do them for the eggs. And, the and he ate her eggs almost every day. Oh, and so really? Once we built this, never again. I tried ringnecks oh, a couple of times mm -hmm. years ago, and I raised them purposely to let them go anyway. But it was just as well, because those things are cannibals. Just the male has that, yep. whatever you want to call it, that top knot feather there. Well, yeah, well, they all the females. No, the have females the got it. Yeah, but the males too, yeah. have the brown on them okay. and that kind of black on their body. Yeah. Aren't they interesting? Yeah. And then we have yeah. just put shooting, shooting, <laughs> shooting through the fence here. What I'll end up with. But. Oh, you can open the door. They're pretty good. I'll just close the door inside. <laughs> they get loose. They come and be really. I had about four or five of them come out one day and I didn't latch it and I just said, you get back in there. And they all went back, so. <laughs> the females don't look like their heads have been packed or anything. No. They're uh, the babies and stuff in them. And these are first year layers. First bird that I had. Oh, they're lovely. I used to go stay on a farm in southern Saskatchewan. And this is, again, it was many years ago. The folks are dead now, but I used to go stay with the lady lived in practically a zoo. Oh, really? <laughs> That's the main reason why I stayed there. Oh. You couldn't name a bird that she didn't have. She even had a zebra. Oh, my God. <laughs> she had African deer. Oh, my God. The, uh, there was a, a, a small zoo somewhere. Is that strong? <laughs> oh. <laughs> 